So this is my favorite part. This is like the end of the podcast where I ask a couple questions. This is called the speed round questions. Oh, gosh. And this is what I did That's not there. prep you with. That's all right. These are off the top, off the cuff questions. And we will be Bereans. Yes. That's right. Because <laughs> yes. we belong to CAF. Christ alone fellowship. <laughs> so Lynette, mm-hmm. Los has told me about your attitude. No, I'm playing. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> oh, I got a little afraid. I'm about there. not to submit <laughs> right now. <laughs> no, go ahead. No, I'm messing. This is for everybody. Um, how important is it to you that your husband provides financially? Well, for me, it's very important because I am now uh, a stay-at-home mom. Cool. Mm. Cool. And the reason that I am so a stay-at-home mom. So you don't look mom, down on that being well, a stay-at-home mom? Well, I'm going to tell you the truth. Um, the reason I am a stay-at-home mom is because of what scripture says. Mm. Mm. I worked full-time when that started weighing on me, and so I started praying about it because I felt very convicted. Mm. Um, my my children were left to, to themselves. Uh, mm. Some of my older ones were off doing their own thing, and I knew that we were out of order. Mm. And uh mine and Mario's together our desire was to live how God wanted us to live Amen. and finances is something that's a big reason why uh, moms and dads work outside of the house it's the financial piece and mm-hmm. in an aspect by um, me clinging and saying that I need to work inside I was saying what I'm ultimately saying is that I I don't trust God mm. if I walk in obedience to his word he promises me that he will care for all of my needs so therefore we put it into practice and now I'm not going to tell you that it's easy and that it's just all flowers and roses now right. it's not because I still struggle I struggle with who am I yeah uh, I, am I less than it's mm-hmm. like I have to take that higher calling right. that God has given us as women mm-hmm. and I have to remind myself that's what it is because it the world's told me that I'm less than mm-hmm. because of it so I struggle with not having my own money going out and doing what I want to do mm. um, relying on Mario for all income right. uh, mm. that's not an easy thing to do when you've worked your whole life as right. a woman and, and contributed to the bills maybe even made more than him mm-hmm. and it's just not an easy thing right. so it's it's through that walk that I've had to do a lot of praying and trusting in God and mm-hmm. and just saying no I know what his word says right. and uh, did I like it no I don't and I still struggle even till this day of like should I get a job no and then I gotta I gotta renew my mind mm, again right. into the scriptures no I'm seeing so much blessing even in my mm. children now yeah. from me being home Mm-hmm. that I wish I would have done it so long ago. So I tell anyone out there, pray about it. Yeah. You feel that tug, do it. Mm-hmm. Because there's so many blessings. Mm-hmm. And, and following God's word, he supplies. He is faithful. Mm-hmm. He promises. Even when you can't see it, he yeah. does. I would, yeah, I, I would totally echo that. I remember when my husband and I decided for me to, to be a stay-at-home mom. I work right now, um, but for many years I was a stay-at-home mom. And I think he would agree um, with me that it was probably the most difficult time for us financially. Um, but it is the rewards far outweighed yes, what do. we struggled with. Um, and I can always say that I was my, my children's first teacher. Mm. You know, that they did they did not learn outside my home. Did I mean, you homeschool them? No, I didn't. Okay. But, I, you know, I, they were with me 24-7. Mm. I, you know, I was their teacher. And I remember struggling, feeling like I was less than. Yeah. And it was hard. It was really hard. But... But I remember the nights. I remember this is one 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 thing I'll, I'll say. Um, I remember we had no groceries, and um, I put my hand on my refrigerator. I was exactly what I did. I said, "God, you said that you would not allow the righteous to beg for bread, and we have nothing." Mm. And I don't know if it was the very next day, but it was soon after. There was groceries on my porch. It was it the next day groceries wow. on our porch and I'm like god thank you I mean there were times we had we had no diapers we had no milk I mean it was hard it was hard and for my husband it must have been even harder because he was the provider and right. to feel like he didn't make enough that was hard mm. we had to really trust the Lord but man I wouldn't take that back for anything for anything that's awesome that's cool mm-hmm. that's, that's- Really good to hear. Um, those of you that are watching it right now, go ahead and hit that like button. Continue to comment and share the video. 
Share it with as many people as you want. Share it on your timeline. Share it with your mama, your daddy, all of them. <laughs> um, next question. How do you feel about the handling of the finances in marriage? Um, what do you mean, like, as far as who should be... Like, to let me give you an sure example you of this. Talk oh, in the yeah. mic. Yeah. <laughs> let me give you an example of this. Like, I know that there's couples that believe you should have separate accounts. I know there's couples that say, you know, your money is your money, your, my money is my money. Or they'll, they'll say things like... Um, I'm handling the money. You don't need to touch anything. You know what I mean? Ooh. Like when it comes to finances, there it's one of the major causes of divorce today. It is. Mm-hmm. So how do you feel about the handling of the finances in marriage? Um, well, I feel like um, definitely you guys like we, there should be joint accounts, absolutely. And I think that um, it holds you accountable kind of like mm-hmm. especially if there's a spouse that struggles with spending or you know things like that um so yeah i think that there I, should be I, I think it makes it difficult when there's two different philosophies of 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 money so um that's actually one of the areas that i had to submit because i always did the finances um and i was a kind of person <laughs> I was the kind of person that, guess what, kids? We're going to Dutch Wonderland. <laughs> Not paying pp and today. <laughs> and my husband would be like, um, did we pay the light bill? And I'm like, I'm going to pay it twice next month. <laughs> you know, so that was totally me. Um, so, and, and now I work for a financial institution. Shout out to Everence. But, <laughs> so I have a huge um, personal conviction on how money should be handled because I see it every day. Mm-hmm. Um, where he's a little bit, his philosophy is different. So he completely takes over the finances now. Like he was like, I'm doing it. This was many, many years ago. But so he he takes it over um, and I had to submit to that. And that was really hard for me because that meant that um, Dutch Wonderland was probably not part of the plan. Budget, right? Yeah, right. you know. So um, I don't, I don't necessarily, I would not say that biblically, this is how it should look, you know, A, B and C. Um, I would say that together, figuring out what works best for the home and a- allowing your husband to lead in that, in that way. Yeah. I would agree. I would, I would say using wisdom, mm-hmm. using wisdom, who's better at it. Right. You know, and, and submitting to that. I mean, even now, mm-hmm. um, I'm the one handling the finances in our home. Mm-hmm. And but that's been a transition because it's been Mario for the last several years. Mm-hmm. And it's been a hard transition because I relied a lot on him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where now, since the finances have been handed to me, sometimes he wants to dip his hand in there. Mm-hmm. And now I'm like, get your hand out. <laughs> right, right. Get your hand out. And I want to know what you're spending. Mm-hmm. No more fast food at lunch. You're packing. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right, and You're then packing bud. Yeah. <laughs> and let me say this: so, Wayne. like, no subway or anything like no, that. That's no it. Subway. No twelve dollar. Oh, yeah. Subway trips, Wayne. I so because I work for a financial institution, <laughs> I see women that they don't know anything about their their household finances, yeah. and when the husband dies, she knows nothing. Mm. That is a very dangerous place to be. Yeah. Um, so I, I've seen that, and that that's been devastating to watch that's that's sad it is very sad yeah yeah okay um how does a how does having a close relationship with the holy spirit help with submitting to your husband's leadership Say that again. conviction when you don't can't do it without him how does having a close <laughs> relationship with the holy spirit help with submitting to your husband's leadership can't do it without him yeah that's all i could say yeah Mm-mm. And even with them, yeah, he I'm lives inside of me, and I still struggle. Right, right. You don't want to. Hard right? to live with him, can't live without him. Yeah. In our flesh, we don't want to. Right. It's mm-hmm. only by his spirit that gives us that desire to want to because we love God. Right. Mm-hmm. Amen. Right. And mm-hmm. he convicts. Mm-hmm. So the very second I'm going, I'm in my flesh, I'm convicting. Yeah. You know? Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, my last question for you. Um, Has past male relationships played a role in your life when it comes to submission to your submitting to your husband's leadership? Absolutely. Okay. I have no idea how to answer that. Okay. Oh, absolutely. 
You did hear expound, it though, right? Expound, expound, Davina. What do you mean? How, how, I don't even know if I understand the question. Well, why you even? Why I even hate it? You know, yeah. sometimes oh, okay. if you're sitting under, you know, whether it's your father uh, or whoever it is, if there's not a good relationship there, and then you're mm-hmm. growing up to know that you got to submit to a man, and your whole childhood, you sat under submission of a father that was not godly, mm-hmm. and. Yet also in the same text, that same father can be pushing you to let's go. You're, you're, you're going to be little league. You're going to do this. You're going to do that. And mm-hmm. it's teaching you to fight, teaching you to physically fight. You mm-hmm. see somebody coming in, you're going to physically fight. Mm-hmm. Uh, you need to be independent. You don't need to depend on a, uh, on a man. Mm. You need to care for yourself. And it was like. Some people are growing up, like some girls are growing up in order for their father to have favor on them. It's and and for them to be pleased, the woman or the young girl has to be even more independent Mm -hmm. and more strong willed and more bold. So that truly affects the outcome of when they grow up, Mm -hmm. how they're going to live based and how they're going to treat their husband. Mm -hmm. I would say it hasn't really affected me. I, I didn't really have. A dad who was domineering or passive or he was kind of an in and out kind of a dad um, any past relationships I was and maybe because I was in control but I don't know mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> well I, I, it, and it's not just men having or taking advantage of of the female or anything like that when I, when I mean like it's maybe affected your view on submission i meant like even like when it comes to your past male relationships like what if there was no male presence there like leadership in the home has that affected at all um what maybe you've been around men that were more passive when it came to their leadership and maybe they didn't view leadership at all like in in a good light and so they were just like ah that's not for me Mm -hmm. that's what i meant by the question so okay like past male relationships all together um whether they were weak men whether they were like overbearing men controlling men ungodly men whatever how has that played a role in your life when it comes to submitting to your husband's leadership oh yeah i would definitely say it um you know just growing up and seeing my my dad was i hope he's not watching <laughs> He, oh, he can't passive. hear you. He definitely can't hear you. He was you. a bit passive. <laughs> um, but also he would he was not he was just in and out all the time. Mm-hmm. So seeing like my mom pretty much taking control of, of the household and and even finances and everything, you know what I mean? It kind of it kind of uh, my view on on submission that like that kind of played a role in, in to my view on submission. Um but it wasn't biblical. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I, I know that even trying to learn what it means to lead a home, I tried to learn the best I could from the things that was happening in my own home. And mm-hmm. again, I was in broken homes growing up. Right. So I kind of picked it up as I went, kind of learned from the mistakes that my dad made. And yeah Mm -hmm. it just it was tough trying to learn that firsthand at home Mm -hmm. but again i I think i thank god that i had my grandparents to look Mm -hmm. up to and just the bible and in general to guide me as i went i may not have listened to it all the time but i was able to read and pick up tidbits as i went so you would say you've had examples of leading in a way that was a healthy or a biblical way so you've seen the men love their wives and lay down their lives for their for their I've, wives I've seen that. yeah okay. I've, i was able to see that i didn't see that no i yeah. never seen that Mm-mm. ever Mm-mm. me either yeah see that's that's the tough part because then again then you get into marriage and it's like well what, what do you expect at that point yeah kind of set up from the gate and then and then you look on tv and you look at everything else around you and you try to pick up from that and it's like that's not displayed on tv Mm -mm. in any way shape or form Mm -mm. yeah and nowadays it's like the men are actually made fun of on screen yes Mm -hmm. and they're belittled and they're you know i mean like it's like oh look at that guy trying to be macho Mm -hmm. he doesn't have to be tough you know what i mean and they make being a man seem like it's something something wrong with it Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so you have to apologize for your masculinity yeah it's like no 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 yeah and so yeah again i 
seeing that on the screen growing up, I had to learn like what's real, what's not, what should I learn from this, and yeah, a lot of confusion. Yeah. So thank for God sure. for the church, thank God for the Holy Spirit and the Bible, and just having good role models in my life. Mm-hmm. 